What's up, everybody? This is Coach Miller. Just want to give you guys a quick rant, I guess, this morning. Um, you know, I, I got to tell you, every every morning I come into work, I usually have it on 101 ESPN, and it's before we get to the local shows. So we got Keyshawn J. Will and Max, and I swear on everything that is holy. I think for the last, oh, I don't know, month, two months, whatever, all I hear all they talk about is the Los Angeles Lakers. Well, first off, NBA, not basketball anymore. Okay? It's just not. They get away with all kinds of crap that the kids here in high school and at the college game think they can get away with. The extra steps, uh, you know, arguing about calls, things like that. It's not even real basketball. Okay? We all know that. We all know that, especially here in St. Louis where we don't even have a team. But... I get so freaking tired of hearing about the Lakers. The Lakers are the most talked about worst team in NBA history. The Lakers get more coverage this year. The 2021-2022 Lakers get more media coverage than any team in probably modern history of major sports, professional sports, they get more coverage than any team that's not that not that did not make the playoffs. And it's constant. And I know everybody's going to say, "Well, LeBron and he did they didn't make the playoffs and this was supposed to be a super team." Well, first off, you fire the coach. Frank Vogel, you're gone. Okay? What what is Frank Vogel going to do? Think about who he's got to coach. He's got to it would just leave LeBron on the side. Russell Westbrook's on the team. Russell Westbrook is one of the, the hardest to coach. He, him and James Harden are cut from the same cloth. No wonder they couldn't play together. It, it's, in, it's just insane. Russell Westbrook is an amazing talent. But the fact is, he just he can't get it done. I mean, he's a triple-double machine. But that's great. He's like world be free. You know, I'll, I'll do all this great stuff and never never win because you, he can't. He just can't. He doesn't have that kind of game. Plus, uh, every year he gets older. And the older you get, trust me, you just can't. You can't play the same way. Not me and Russell Westbrook are not on the same level, except I can probably outshoot him from the three-point line. But I digress. Then Anthony Davis, former number one in Kentucky Wildcat. Sorry, Blair. It, it, I, 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 I think AD is such a great talent, but... They, they, the, apparently his nickname is Street Clothes because he's always in his street clothes. When you see when you turn on the game and the Lakers are playing, oh, there, there's AD. Oh, oh, he's in the street clothes. Well, what happened? I don't know, he got hurt. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Monday. It's Tuesday. It's Wednesday. It's Thursday. He's always hurt. I mean, so he's a top five talent, but, you know, he's talent, not top five player because players don't wear street clothes at a game. They play. And then you have LeBron, who probably needs to be fired as being the general manager because, let's face it, anywhere LeBron has went minus Miami, he has told the owner, the general manager, the coach, whoever is running the show, what to do and who to get. I mean, he's like, hey, we'll, go, we'll go here and we'll play with these guys. Oh, okay. And they go out and get them. We'll trade away the future so you can have these guys. And that's worked in the past because LeBron was able to carry – and he's usually getting guys who can kind of play around him. Plus, hey, not to mention, after you got to get two more dudes like, you know, two more high-level playing dudes, uh, you have to actually have some guys around you who can do some stuff. Usually shoot the three. And that's something that the Lakers don't really have. They trade away all their guys who can actually play a little bit, the younger guys who are now starting to do things on other teams. But guess what? Lakers don't have anybody. So you have LeBron, who's my age, still playing, You've got AD who doesn't ever play. You've got Russell Westbrook who, 13 years in the NBA, and hasn't done a whole lot except put up stats. That's great. Let, I mean, go go with some. Oh yeah, Carmelo. Oh yeah, Carmelo. Yeah, he'll be a future Hall of Famer because God forbid anybody ever play defense in this league. Another reason why guys who play out of Bayheim system can't translate to the NBA and have success. Because they don't even know how to play man to man, and they still don't know how to play defense, and that's it. So uh, you have your best player to ever come out of Syracuse in the Jim Beheim era, and he can't play defense, but I, he can actually score, and he has been the guy who can score 18 years in the league. You know, he's had a great career, but again, he's at 18 years in the league. He's my age. He's 38. It, it, it he's almost done. Okay, Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard is still playing. 
Okay, I remember Dwight Howard was Superman and all the crazy stuff he would do, and uh, that was great, Dwight. But his his game has come and gone, and nobody cares about a six ten center anymore. You're just there to screen and roll, and well, we'd say throw a lob to, but I don't know if he can do that anymore. Uh, Wayne Ellington, Wayne Ellington. I remember when he played for North Carolina. Come on, what I mean, what what's this guy? This is DJ Augustine, another guy. The, the Lakers have are the oldest team in the NBA. And they got a bunch of guys who are like, maybe they'll do something in the pros, and maybe they won't. And most of them are maybe they won't, because they didn't. I mean, DJ Augustine. Okay, great. You're going to get the NBA retirement. Good job. All right? I won't, but you will. Okay? Well, again, Wayne Ellington. I didn't even know he was still playing. Malik Monk. All right, what's it, there? There's nothing on this team, nothing, it, it, nothing that scares you. If you're the other team, you're like, well, if LeBron ain't playing, okay, we're we're good, because Anthony Davis played in 40 games this year. That's it, 40 games. I believe the NBA had 82 games, full season, no COVID, no restriction, no nothing. Okay, LeBron played in 56 games, averaged 30 points a game. LeBron's got to score 50 every night for them to win, and obviously he didn't. And then Anthony Davis, 40. Russell Westbrook played in 78. After that, Malik Monk, 13.8 points per game. Carmelo had 13.3 points per game. Isaiah Thomas, not the real one, not the, not the actual good one, played in four games. And he was their sixth leading scorer. He played in four games. And then you got Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Horton Tucker. You know who the hell that guy is, okay? And they got a bunch of no-name dudes. Avery Bradley. No, no. No, there, there's a reason why you're no good. Because you don't have anybody else to go with these guys. There's a bunch of aging dudes. Anthony Davis is 28. He, he walks around like he's 58. If he even walks around. Okay, you probably got to have like a wheelchair there just in case he trips over himself and falls while he's in the street clothes. And then the fact that the Lakers are a complete dumpster fire. I mean, absolute dumpster fire. I hate hearing about them. Why do I want to talk about it? Because that's all I'm freaking hearing. I come into work. I get here at work at like, you know, six o'clock in the morning. Guess what? We're going to listen to Lakers. And all I'm talking about is, man, Lakers, oh, LeBron doing this. And, you know, what if they make the playoffs? There's an extra freaking part of the playoffs. It, it, the top eight teams don't even make it anymore. The, the ninth and the tenth team have an opportunity to make the playoffs in the conference, not just the whole freaking league. The Lakers finished 11th out of 15 in the Western Conference, they were 33 and 49. Are you kidding me? They're they're awful. And why? Why do they even get press coverage? No, I mean nobody's going out and been like, you know, hey, you know, Oklahoma City, you know, I don't know how come they're not winning. Well, because they're in freaking Oklahoma City and they suck. Well, guess what? The Lakers suck too. And they only sucked three they were just a little bit less suckier than the Kings. The Sacramento Kings, who haven't been relevant since uh White Chocolate and Chris Weber and Vladdy. And Mike Bibby and those guys. The Sacramento Kings were 30 and 52. Three games behind them. That's it. Even, how about this? The New York Knicks had a better record than the Los Angeles Lakers. The Knicks were 37 45. And they, they finished 11th in, in, in the conference in the East. What does that tell you? It tells you that the Lakers suck. They, they mortgaged everything when they, when LeBron comes in. And starts telling, hey, you need to go out and get these guys. Oh, okay. Go get, go get Russell. I'll be able to play with Russell. Like, you got to find guys you can play with, or you're just a damn basketball player. You're supposed to be the best of all time, okay? I mean, I know Jordan had guys that he wanted to play with, but, I mean, he, he, he could play ball with B.J. Armstrong. He'd play ball with Steve Kerr. I don't think LeBron could play ball with Steve Kerr. It's, if we take the same, same guy, I'd be like, no, I don't think Steve Kerr could play. Let's see, girls like, dude, I, I win championships, okay? I don't, I don't lose in the finals. You know, I don't, I don't need a super team. <laughs> I'm just one of those other guys. And that's the thing. There's, they don't have any role players. LeBron's all about the superstars and then getting the publicity, and he's too, he's too out in front of a bunch of stuff that doesn't even matter because he's not focused on playing basketball, obviously. I mean, yeah, 30 points a game for a guy who's 38 years old. It's great. Well, somebody's got to shoot the damn ball because you don't have anybody else who can. And a bunch of no-name scrub-a-dubs that you picked up off the street. Guess what? It ain't gonna work in the NBA. You're not. You're not gonna beat Phoenix, who's obviously the best team in in the league right now. You're not gonna beat Memphis. Okay, they, they're building it the right way. Golden State, and once all those guys are healthy, every one of those teams, there's no way they can compete. 
But for whatever reason, there's still this whole, we need a super team. No, it looks like you just need a team, an actual team. The guys actually pass the ball, you know, know how to set screens, play defense, stuff like that. Oh, wait, 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 wait for real basketball. If you can play real basketball, you might be good. But guess what? You, know, you don't get that. You don't get that from Baron. You don't get that from the Lakers. So I'm tired of hearing about them. Okay? I, I'm really tired of hearing about them. And I guess I, get, I would probably venture to guess to say that as the NBA playoffs are going on, we're going to still hear about the Lakers and who their coach is going to be. Well, you know what? Maybe LeBron should just, just, just to be player coach. Okay? I mean, hey, Bill Russell did it. Why not? Because it doesn't matter. LeBron, he's not going to listen to anybody else. It, they're talking about, oh, he has to have somebody of high respect and high regard. They're talking about Coach K. Coach K is, like, de- de- degeneratively old, okay? And nobody realizes that. Like, he can barely get around. And not take anything away from Coach K, because he's a heck of a coach, great, one of the greatest of all time. Well, who will listen to him. Well, wait a minute. Why? It, it, it's, it's someone else's job to tell LeBron what to do. Ah, there we go, because LeBron ain't going to listen to nobody else. He's gonna want, he, he comes in, he runs the team, because, here, go get these guys, I'll play with these guys. What? What? This is the society we live in. That's why the Lakers are media relevant and they're a dumpster fire. I mean, I know it's like watching a train wreck. Like, oh my gosh, I can't look away. We have to talk about it. Oh, it was brutal. Look at all the bodies. And that's what the Lakers are. But for the love of God, I'm tired of hearing about them. Talk about anything else. Talk about this play-in tournament in the NBA that's the stupidest thing ever. So everybody can get a trophy? Why? I don't understand that. So we can help the, the odds of the lottery or something because all the teams that didn't make it? Are you kidding me? Again, stupid, but whatever. Th- those teams, nobody else is even relevant here. We're not talking about the Orlando Magic. And they're probably going to, they were Houston's going to get the number one pick probably by, based on the, the lottery balls. No, well, we're talking about the freaking Lakers. And they'll probably continue to be the story. Oh, the NBA Finals is going on. We got Phoenix against Milwaukee rematch. Oh, but hey, by the way, the Lakers. They actually signed somebody who used to deliver beer for a living because that's all they can afford because they have three Supermax contracts. Again, why? It's not relevant. Who cares? This is why people turn it turn 101 off. They turn the media off, turn ESPN off whenever they start talking about the Lakers because nobody cares about the Lakers except for people who are in Los Angeles if you're a diehard. My dad was a huge Lakers fan. Showtime, Magic. Loved watching them play. I mean, I remember watching them in the Celtics when I was a little kid. I didn't even, didn't even like basketball back then because that was part of it. But for this, for this whole thing about the Lakers and LeBron and all this stuff, it, it's, it, they're irrelevant. They are irrelevant because they have the worst general manager and head coach in basketball. His name is LeBron James. He should have been the one on the chopping block. I'm Coach Miller, and don't forget to tune into the Coach's Box. We're on every week. You can hear different rants from me or anybody else that feels like doing them. Uh, you want to check out Apple Podcasts. We'll be on there. And uh, just appreciate you guys giving me a chance to rant a little bit. And uh, don't forget to tune into all of our other shows and uh, broadcasts. We'll see you guys later. Have a, have a great day.